Hello everybody and welcome back for some more Detention. This is part 4. And uh, we're still exploring this red house. We've just put the sword and the fan on this door and it's opened wide for us. So we should probably go through. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Alright. Okay, oh it leads outside. Alright. But uh, So that's the end of the red house it seems. But there is some more. What's this statue about? Can we have a look? Yeah. A copper statue of the president. It can be seen from almost anywhere in the school. Hmm, fair enough. What about that? Is... What? It feels like I'm being watched. Well, like the president's watching you? I guess that's a possibility. Especially in this world, I wouldn't put it past the game, really. Uh, what about this door? Is it open? It is now. Okay. Alright, can't seem to read that sign, wherever it says. Got a door here. I guess let's try the door. Yeah, okay. Right. Now what are these? More sort of talismans? I mean... Yeah, the windows are covered in protective talismans. Protecting you from from what though? Just everything? Got another phone here. Okay. Let's see. Isn't this the phone from the principal's office? Well, it looks like the same type. Is it the very same? Maybe? Ah. Oh. Oh, right. Who are we going to call? I assume the emergency services won't be answering, so it's probably not going to be them. Can't read what that says, and uh, I haven't picked up any numbers or anything. I don't know who I would call, so I guess I'll, I'll come back to this. Let's put the phone down and, and keep exploring. These talismans, still the same? Yeah, okay. And some more over here on the bookcases, where there's nothing important. What about here? This cabinet looks familiar. There's a key inside. Yeah, I saw one very similar inside the principal's office, actually. The roof key. The roof key. Okay. Well, I guess that's where we're heading next. Or do we go down the corridor? It's kind of tempting. Now, I want to see what's on the roof. Let's go back. Let's go back into the red house. Alright. What's the bet that when I come back, that statue's going to be missing, or it's moved, or something? Like the cane's not there, or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so back through here. Uh, and I've got to tell you, right now, I am just looking at the very edge of my monitor, the very left side, just looking for any lanterns that look out of place. <laughs> Seems good so far. Okay, okay. Uh, so, yeah, up the stairs. And we should be able to get through that gate protecting the stairway now, right? Yes! The door's no longer a problem. Let's go up. Here we go. This is new. Okay. Oh. Okay. Was that me? That was weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't... I don't know if that was me or... Right. What's that? A blood-stained film. Oh, right, the media room. Yeah, okay, we'll be going back to that projector. Uh, but I think I just took a tumble off the roof, so... Maybe before that, maybe... I, I, should I look outside? I'm just trying to think about this. I know it's a 2D game, I'm trying to work out the 3D perspective and everything, but... I think maybe if I go outside... Uh, yeah, let's go down again. And if I actually go outside, you know, the main entrance to the building, maybe I'll see my own body there? I'm not sure. It's probably worth a look, though. What could I say? I'm curious. So, through here? Yeah, that's it. Okay, no bodies, just more falling paper planes. I think I'm right in saying the body would be here if it was anywhere, so now we've got to ask, where did it go? Nobody. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so let's get to that projector, right? This is actually quite a fun game. Hasn't challenged me too much, really. I suppose the, the most complicated part of it so far has been working out that combination lock. And I guess at the moment the story's kind of puzzling me. Haven't quite worked that out yet. Yeah, it's pretty solid. So up here, um... I think it was on this floor. It, I think we've got a couple of doors that are just like covered in moss and stuff that we can't go through, but beyond that, I think that's the media room. 
where the projector is. This one here? Yeah, I want to say yeah. And for good reason. Here we go. Okay, so... That goes there. Yeah. I wonder what's contained in this film. Well, we're about to find out. Ah, we can't just peek through that little window there. I suppose we actually have to go into the media room itself to check it out. Okay. I'm still kind of getting, like, half freaked out by the lights flickering on and off. I don't think that's really significant. I think it just happens sometimes, but... There you go. Right. What's this? Zero, two, five. One, two, one. We can't actually examine this, and that's it. Zero, two, five. I, I'm going to write this down. I figure, actually, this might be... This might be for the phone. Maybe this is the number we need to call. So it starts with zero, two, five. One. Two. And one again. And that's it. It just keeps repeating. All right. There aren't any other changes in this room, are there? I don't think so. Let's get back to that phone. Yeah. If something's happening on the right side of the screen right now, I just wouldn't see it because I'm so focused on that left edge of my monitor. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Seems to be working out for me so far. Alright, now I'm focused on the right edge. And I've got to try very hard. I, I suppose what I should be doing is sort of like clicking up here. Because if I click on the ground sometimes, I might inspect something. I've done that a couple times now. Like, I might have accidentally walked outside or inspected a door or saved or something, you know? There doesn't appear to be too much to examine on the ceiling. Right, here we go. Statue? The statue is still there. Still watching over me. Or spying on me. I'm not sure yet. So back in here. 025121. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I, I figure this is probably what it's for. Um, so, yeah. Pick the phone up, I suppose. So, that's zero. That's two. Five. And then it's one, two, one. There you go, there you go. Right. Hmm. Who's that meant to be? <laughs> I don't know what voice to give it. Miss Fag, your country appreciates your assistance. Was that it? Your country appreciates... What the... What's left is only the dial tone. And that's that? Oh, God. Oh! Oh, the counselor's back. He's got a sack of, like, bodies behind him or something. Whoa. Do you need to use the door? You could, like, break through that window so easily. Right. Okay. That was out of my control. Thankfully, Ray is quite smart, and she decided to hide. Uh, cool. Was that message really important? Maybe I ratted out someone at the school in regards to communism or something? Or gambling, maybe? Let's explore the rest of this place, right? Oh, oh. Oh, the counselor must have left something for me. What is that? A military police puppet. Okay. Yeah, a puppet picked up in the hallway dressed as a military policeman. It's holding a pistol in hand. What's the significance of that, I wonder? Was he the guy on the phone? Not sure yet. I guess there's more to this building. Oh, God, here we go, here we go. Right. So I'm facing away. I'm trying to time this right, because I know I do run out of breath quite quickly. I think it only really matters when he leans down to do this and sort of sniff me. And almost, like, lick the air around me. Should be safe. Should be safe. I don't know when I can start running. Probably now. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> 
it seems that unlike the other sort of lingered, they don't sort of turn around mid patrol and everything, which is kind of nice. Why is this all gated off? What the hell is this? Hang on, what, what was that? I, I saw a... There's something here. There's a metal door inside. There might be another way around. Well, I'm hoping so. Alright, in the foreground. Walk towards the camera, there's a door here. Here we go. Alright. Right, we can have a look at this one. This isn't a talisman, it's a sign for the music room, and there's a piano inside. It was probably last used during our freshman chorus competition. <laughs> sure. Let's, uh, let's go in. Okay. Does it always look this dark and dreary? <laughs> we have music class scheduled every semester. It's mostly used as a testing center, though. Oh, I see. Okay, so what's this in the cage? We can grab it. In the middle of the room hangs a bird cage. A puppet lies locked inside. It's got a hood on. I've never seen this style before. Looks a little bit like the prisoner we saw in the basement. Have you got something to do with this? I can't, like, add a little friend in for you. Can we open the door? That doesn't do anything, no. I can grab it. I guess, I guess just not yet. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I get it, I get it. I don't see a padlock. I don't actually see a door to this, really. I mean, I guess the door's, like, right in front of me, but... I don't think I can grab it or anything. Weird. Okay, alright. And there's the piano, right. Let's have a look at the piano. Oh, we get to play? Just the white keys? Um, only some of them as well. <laughs> yeah, we won't be doing any sharps or anything like that. And I can only press one at a time. Is it something to do with the blood? Because I assume that's like dried blood here, so... Uh, that just looks like worn, so maybe it's like... No? No? I was thinking that, you know, there wouldn't be as much blood on the next key used in the sequence or something. Uh, I'm not sure. So the ones that aren't marked at all don't actually work. That's kind of weird. I've got a choice of five, it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, don't really know what I'm doing with this at the moment. Does the doll play? <laughs> Does the puppet play? Probably not. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's continue going down the hallway, see what else we find. Okay, so I assume that's still part of the music room. Boarded up door. Nothing. What's this? The broadcasting room. There are some playback devices inside. Okay. I'm expecting half of these doors to be locked, but they're not. Okay, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do we got on the shelves? Nothing interesting, apparently. Okay. On the table are some broadcasting equipment. The speakers are emitting a small staticky sound. You can almost hear whispering. Lovely. Can we use this? Yeah, yeah we can. Much like the piano, I suppose. Am I going to start a radio show or something? This should be used to switch tracks. Each tape usually has four tracks recorded on it. Oh, I see. So one, one light for each. A large eight-track player, usually used for school broadcasts. Well, that makes sense. Power's connected. Do I just need to stick an eight-track tape in? Maybe, maybe. I don't actually have that. I got a puppet, but I don't think that's going to fit. I guess it would go in there. Yeah. Yes, I can use something here, and it's not giving me a prompt as to what it is, so probably. Can't speak into that. Yeah, that's the volume. That doesn't seem to work. Alright, I'll be back when I find an 8-track. Now, can we talk about what seems to be a tree with faces on it? A tree's grown through the wall. There are leaves all over the room. Moss grows on the door and windows. And that's where we're going to leave that, apparently. Who are these people? really quite sinister. 
as I think I said before, some of the visuals in this are really cool. It's nice to have a, a different sort of look at mythology and ghosts and stuff. It's nice to get the sort of Chinese, Taiwanese look. Oh, come on, not again! Okay. Um, if I just wait, went in here, because that works, and I went out, would he still be there? Yep, yep, yeah, he's still there. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to stand here. I thought I could just sort of despawn him or something, but that's not the way it works. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the lantern, and now. What is it? Do you like the style, the smell? No dandruff. Right, 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 right. We're good, we're good. And we are going to leg it. Look at the little feet he has. That's crazy. Okay, let's go. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's a door there. I don't think there was anything else in the corridor. And we're outside again. Wait, where's the statue? Shouldn't... Oh, no, I turned the corner. I'm on the other side of the building. That's fine, I suppose. Let's... Well, no, 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 no. See, this is what I was saying earlier. You can sort of accidentally go somewhere because your, your curse is too low on the ground. I can walk towards the camera, it looks like. Well, this is the red house. Can we go back in? The door's been unlocked? Which door? Wait, that might be the... This is the door that leads to the atrium, so that's where we were before. Okay, that's pretty convenient, actually. Um, cool. Well, let's go back out, because I actually want to walk towards the camera. Yeah. Walk through that circle there. Barbed wire. It was on the roof as well. What's this? Oh. Oh, a wooden puppet theatre. Are they hands? Yeah. I see it often when we visit the temple. There seem to be a couple of props on the theatre. Climb the ladder up and take a look? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, let's give it a try. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks familiar. I'm sure that's no coincidence. This scene. Is it trying to remind me of something? Yeah. A pair of... Oh, they're mannequin hands. Okay. Okay. Is it a setup for the puppet play? I suppose so. This probably goes there. No? Or on the other hand, maybe? Yes, that works. Okay, so we're looking for another one. And um, maybe looking for someone to sit on the chair. Although I can't actually examine that. But yeah, that one in the birdcage, I think that's got to be on that right hand there. Well, it looks like whoever's sitting on the chair is going to have a gun pointed right at them. Is that it? Okay, I think so. Yep, let's back away. So we're looking for another puppet. Maybe another two puppets. I know where one is, but... Well, actually, I suppose they do have a shortcut back to the puppet room. Maybe there was something I missed. Maybe I need to collect something that can sit on the chair. What is this? Is this the ban- or another banyan tree? Might be. And anyway, there's something stuck inside it. Oh, it's an 8-track tape. Okay. Well, that seems simple enough. I guess I'll be going back to the broadcasting room very soon. And we're blocked off from the rest of the school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, to the broadcasting room. So, back through the circle, back into the atrium. Well, I wouldn't give for another candle, though. Some of this is very, very dark to me on this monitor right now. <sighs> Extremely dark. Sound like someone flicked a switch. Right. Is this, I think this is the broadcasting room. Oh, but it's too dark to see any... Really? I don't think the power went out. I think it actually was a switch. Wait, it's too dark to see anything, and yet you know that says... Whatever. <laughs> Some... Oh, hang on. Oh! Oh, all right. Oh, I didn't realize I could mess with this. There we go. Does that not work? I guess not. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oh, no, no, no! Okay, he didn't realize where I was, and now I'm holding my breath. You're trying to sneak up on me, the son of a bitch. If he took an extra long sniff, there's nothing I could do. Alright, let's go, let's go. I think really, once you're past his feet, or once you, once he stops sniffing you, you can probably run away. Or at least run behind him. 
Um, is he still walking down the hall, or I, I don't know? I need to get to the broadcasting room, and now I should be able to see where I'm going. He's gone. Okay, yeah, I don't think he goes into a sprint or anything, or at least I fucking hope he doesn't. Woo! Okay. So, yep, let's have a look at this again. And this time, let's stick this in there. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there were subtitles for that. I really do. Maybe that was played at the school assembly or as a parade. I don't know. What about number three? A comedian, maybe? Alright. Four? Ah. Ah. The piano puzzle. I see. What's going on? Oh, it's self-rewinding. Very, very convenient. All right. <clears throat> now, I think there was there were like five keys to play with, right? Okay, I mean, it sounds simple enough. I think at the end there, he's kind of dragging his finger down the keys. Okay. All right, I think I can probably remember that. Let's uh, get out of here. Oh, of course, it's on the broadcasting system. It's going throughout the school. I can hear it. That right? I, I, that's cool. I don't need to remember it really. Then I can probably hear it in the music room. Yeah, that's brilliant. That saves me uh, sort of writing this down, I suppose. So it was here, right? It was. And this room doesn't actually have a broadcasting system. So not to interrupt the piano playing, ironically, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Well, let's assume it's not that one. Ah. Shit. I think I've got it, though. Yes, okay. A metal sound comes from somewhere in the room. I'm hoping it's the birdcage. Let's find out. That was... <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> it was. I wasn't expecting the audience, though. <laughs> that, was, that was really freaky. I like their faces. Uh, yeah, let's take the puppet. That's got to go on the right hand, I suppose. The cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. Take it out, absolutely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Are we not going to talk about this? Uh, well, are we going to shake hands or something? A detached, twisted hand. Fingerprints completely rubbed off. What, are you going to do a test on him or something? It looks like it, though, yeah. Auditioning for the role in seven, maybe. I don't think you're going to win it. I think Kevin Spacey's got that one, really. All right, uh... Let's go back to the puppet show. Are we still missing anything? I don't know. I mean, I can fill the hands up. I was wondering, actually, if I was going to find a little version of me to put on the chair, but maybe not. I think I'm going to keep the lights on. Maybe so the spectre with the lantern doesn't feel the need to come in and light everything up. So then, that goes there. Yeah? Oh. Whoa. That was elaborate. That was a real gun. Fucking hell. A key fell out of the puppet's body. Right, and that's a key to... Oh, it's a basement key. Oh, right, yeah, there was that locked door down there. I forgot about that. In the flooded area, of course. Can we take this with us or something? <laughs> I didn't think a real bullet would come out of that gun. Nor did I. There's even the smell of gunpowder. Wow, okay. Its head has been destroyed. Or Wei's head has been destroyed, I suppose. And what about you? Covered in blood. 
A visceral scene is what's coming out. Blood? Why am I being shown this violent scene? I don't know quite yet. There's probably a meaning to it. Anyway, we should get down to the basement. I suppose we don't need to go through the atrium or anything like that. We can probably just take the shortcut back through that door on the right. Yeah. Convenient. Down we go. Now, I, uh, I think one of these may have changed. Maybe one of them's covered in blood now. I don't know. Everything looks... Just like I left it, to be honest. Was there someone there before? No, there was one empty one. Right, rotten plants. Yeah, I, okay. I remember that. Maybe there were two empty ones. Hmm. Anyway, this is the door. This is the door in question. It's locked, but not for long, hopefully. Right, here we go. Ready then? Is this still part of the atrium? Ah, here we go. We got desks. We're still somewhere around the school. What's this? Oh, oh. Wait. Thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. Though, I'm sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. One thing, though. This book list is quite sensitive in material. Please be careful with it. Yes. Thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble. But it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. In fact, I think Miss Yin also said something like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You th think we're alike? I, I can't compare to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter, and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, Strengthen thy wings. The sky's the limit. That's what we found on his desk. She really said something like that? I guess so. Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yin and Mr. Chang chat a lot. Do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? Hmm. Alright. Was that the end of the memory? Uh, no. Are we walking into it? Kind of. We're back in the school somehow. It's a paper bag left behind by way. <laughs> That's some reading list. I've been weak, but you once told me the pen is mightier than the gun. What was that? Sounded like a door. Which door? This one? <laughs> What's going through your head, Ray? Seriously. Oh. Oh, right, we're on the other side of the gate now. Yeah, I, I did see a door there. Where are we going with it? Back along here? Is there somewhere else to go? I guess there must be. Hmm. Well, I didn't see this before, but yeah, let's try it. What are these? Oh, the mirrors. They're all mirrors. Not empty frames. I'm definitely getting a sort of downfall vibe from this game. Maybe this is... Oh, who, who's that? Miss Yin? What are you doing over here? 
As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten? Or do you not want to remember? You... Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die. He had to die. And many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble. You're driving me crazy. Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you? This is all because of you. You ruined everything. If you had a problem, why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Shut up! Oh god. <laughs> oh, didn't read that last bit. Oh god. Ooh. I wish I read that last bit. I was too focused on how the reflections were so different. If you weren't here, all would be well. Does this go back to this, like, rumoured relationship? I guess? Yeah, I, I, I suppose so. What the hell's this? Is there anything here? <laughs> we're just, we're just walking into the void. Shall I do that? Let's actually go back here a minute. I just want to check there's nothing, like, in amongst these shards of glass. Is there a mirror that actually remains unbroken? I think the answer to that is no. That was really, really weird. Huh. I guess it's the void for us. That's cool. Alright. Yeah. I thought this might be just like something that was happening to the school. But maybe it's just something that's happening to me. Yeah, alright. Sure. I kind of love this game, you know? <laughs> Hi! How you doing? You're fucking huge! Justice Cheng Huang. Mum likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Something I think is fruitless. But... Sometimes there's no one else to look to for help. My hands together in silent prayer. Here are my questions. I, Fang Rei Xin, invoke your guidance. Okay, so do I ask about love? Do I ask about prospects? Do I ask about family? Apparently there are multiple endings to this game, so maybe uh, it's dependent on what I ask here. Um, is it love? Prospects? Or family? Um, I'm actually going to choose family. Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Our survey says, uh, Yang Po, the laughing answer. Is that a no? You cannot cry over spilt milk. Is that so? But that was my family. My mum and that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Your mum and that person, not dad. Hmm, alright. Oh, okay. Are we just going through them all? Uh, yeah. I suppose then let's ask about love. Why not? Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Well, that's different. It's Yin Po this time. The crying answer. It's because they're facing each other, I suppose. It's Yin, Yang. Uh, yeah, I guess this makes sense. Do not seek what cannot be. Ah. This was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. I do have a question. If I didn't really like that answer, could I just chuck them up in the air again? And <laughs> just hope they, uh, they sort of bounce in the right way? Anyway, let's ask about prospects. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? That's a yang, isn't it? Yeah. The laughing answer. So... I can only face reality obediently and wait until God knows when? Do I have any other choice? Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Huh. <laughs> a divine answer. So, it is because of me.
Thanks, Justice. Blimey. Uh, oh. This is so weird. Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Pushed through the grind until their innocence fades away. I've become a wooden horse on the carousel of life. A jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. This is all about me. This is all about Fang Rei Shin. I thought Wei was going to be the main character and that was like some major tragedy. Maybe this is all in my own head right now. I don't know. There's, there's problems at home, problems at school. Lots of repressed emotions, I think. I wish I knew what they were trying to say. Now oh, we have a door. Okay. A door. Oh, and a radio as well. Oh, better yet, a save point. But that's where it ends. Okay. And yeah, this is where I'm going to save and end the video because who knows when I'm going to find another save point. So thank you very much for watching part four and I hope to see you back in part five very soon where we'll try to figure out what this all means. See you then. All right. What's the bet that when I come back that statue's going to be missing or it's moved or something? Okay. Okay. Was that me? I guess there's more to this building. Oh god, here we go, here we go. I wouldn't give for another candle, though. Some of this is very, very dark to me on this monitor right now. <sighs> Extremely dark. Oh, but it's too dark to see any- Really? I don't think the power went out. I think it actually was a switch. Wait, it's too dark to see anything, and yet you know that says- that Whatever. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the birdcage. Let's find out. That was- <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> it's a paper bag left behind by Wei. <laughs> That's some reading list.